Look, it's time to stop trying to be magnetic. You know, when you try to be magnetic, you actually decrease your magnetism because you're chasing it and you are going out of your way to try to please other people thinking that that will make you more magnetic. The real key is to stop giving a f Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful Eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Want to remind you to get our new free ebook money like magic. I mean, it really works and it's free, absolutely free. All you have to do is visit law of attraction solutions.com. Hi flyers. We've got the Arizona hat on because the sun is back in Arizona. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the sun. We're going to be doing some videos out by the pool. It's going to be a blast the next six months. And I mean a furnace blast. Anyway, do you find yourself going out of your way? Look at all I did for this person. Look at all I gave to them, you know, and then they ignore me or they don't call me back or they ghost me. Do you find yourself going out of your way to please other people? And it just doesn't seem to work. And maybe you're trying to increase your magnetism while pleasing other people. And it really works the opposite. Have you found that during these new social times that you are conforming, that you are talking like everyone, walking like everyone, thinking like everyone, you know, you're losing yourself. Are you spending all of your time on social media, looking to see what other people are wearing, what they're doing, what they're talking about. So you can follow suit. This decreases your personal power and it decreases your magnetism. Living your life where you tend to want to uh, give up who you are in order to be accepted by others lowers your vibration. And what that does is it gets you less of what you really desire and what you really want. And I'm talking about the money you desire, the love you crave and the health and happiness you depend on. Look, I don't care whether you like the guy or hate him, but Elon Musk is a guy that is following his own beat, his own drummer. He's making his own music and obviously it's worked for him. And it will work for you too. I don't care whether you love the guy or dislike him and detest him, but Donald Trump is the same way. I mean, here's a guy that was a real estate developer, never involved in politics and became president of the United States. Follow your own soul, your own heart and stop giving a what others think. If you're following the masses, if you're dressing like them, looking like them, talking like them, acting like them, then you are taking yourself off the pedestal and you're putting society or someone else or something else on the pedestal. And that becomes who you worship, which means you are sacrificing your own power and magnetism. You may have moderate success by conforming, but you lack the deep love, happiness, and success you deeply deserve. And high flyers, I'm talking about your personal relationships too. Are you doing this in your personal relationship? Have you given up your uniqueness, your beauty, your joy, who you really are? in order to conform only to find that it works against you. Look, it's okay to change yourself. I'm constantly working on changing myself, but we should be focusing on changing ourselves to become the highest version 
of who we are, our highest potential. That makes us more attractive. That makes us more magnetic. And those who love us, love us even more. You begin to make your own music. You sing your own song and you massively increase your own magnetism and personal power when you stop giving about other people's opinions of you. If you truly desire to receive the money that you, you desire, the love you crave and the health and happiness you depend upon, you need to follow these five steps I'm about to share with you and stop caring about the good opinions of others because they're really not good opinions. They're opinions designed to manipulate and control your journey. And this is your journey, not theirs. It's not their journey. It's your journey. And look at you were born free. You need to live free. When you follow your own path, your own journey, you become the one that others seek. You become the one that others want and you become the one that others love and desire because you are unique, because you are perfect and you know it. And because you choose, did you hear the word choose? You choose to be happy. Not giving a f does not mean you are indifferent. It means you are comfortable with being beautiful, unique, and your own self. So how do you stop giving a f have your own clear intentions and goals that are not involving another person. Okay. That can't be part of your goals. This is about you. This is about your life. This is about your journey. So what are your goals minus any specific person? In other words, what are your goals in regards to feelings? What do you want to feel? Where do you want to live? What kind of work do you want to do? What kind of people do you want to hang around? What kind of friends do you want to have? What kind of relationship do you desire? What are your deep, deep intentions? Make them so compelling and so passionate. Be so passionate about these intentions and goals that you don't give a f what anybody else thinks about them. This is your journey. Number two, understand people have motives for rejecting you. People have motives for ghosting you. People have motives for not wanting to have anything to do with you. And usually it's jealousy. Usually it's envy, but it can be other things as well. Maybe you've conformed too much. Aha. Yes. You have conformed too much. Maybe you've always been available every time they call. Always been ready. Can you come over? Sure. I'm on my way. Maybe that's what you're doing. You're giving up yourself, your own identity. Think about it. What are their motives? Ask yourself. That's number two. What's behind their opinion? You know, I understood when my grandparents were telling me to act a certain way, to behave a certain way, to get a good job, to blah, blah, blah. I understand what they were saying. Their motives were love. They didn't understand the world that had become the world that we had moved into. And just like, I won't understand the world that Julian is moving into in the future because it's not part of my reality. So within the framework of their reality, they give, gave me the advice that made sense to them. So understand their motive, but not everyone has loving, caring motives. Just know that number three, take all the people, take all the people, write them down, get out your notebook, and write down their names as 
far back as you can remember. I mean, if you can go back to second grade, go back there. I can't remember. I can remember faces from second grade, but I can't remember names. But anyway, write these people down. These are people that tried to control you, ignored you, rejected you, ghosted you, turned away from you, betrayed you, write them down and then burn them up. Light that paper on fire, baby, and say, I don't give a f about your opinions of me. This is my journey. This is my trip. And I'm going to have the journey that I desire because, oh, high flyers. Let me say it in the final analysis. You were born into this world alone and you will die alone. So you take responsibility for your journey and stop allowing others to control you with their opinions. And that brings me to number four. And number four is what I just said. I got ahead of myself, but remind yourself on a regular basis. This may be the only day you have. So what do you want to do with it? This may be the only life you will ever live. Some people believe in reincarnation and that's great. I like it, but think about it. It kind of allows you to, well, I'm not getting it right this time. I'll catch it the next time around. I think you're better off saying, this is what I got. This is my time. This is my life. This is my journey. I'm going to sing my own song. I'm going to live my own life. And those who love me, they're going to love me a lot because I am unique because I'm genuine. That's the word genuine. And those who don't, I wish him the best. Bye-bye. Number five, take inspired action every day. Inspired to be in the spirit, connect with source energy and take an inspired action that takes your personal happiness and joy and life to the next level every single day. Constantly be working on improving who you are, taking your life to your highest potential. And if you do that, you will attract all kinds of wonderful people that love you, adore you, care about you, want to be near you. And that's a good thing. Now, here's another video I have for you. I really think you should watch this one.